Gentlemen, Jokard. But when the first court met, the brethren were to a one. Skint broke. Who is this betrayer? Not likely anyone among us. We must free Calypso. Shut him! Cut out his tongue! Shoot him and cut out his tongue, then shoot his tongue. Calypso was our enemy then. She will be our enemy now. Come on the elevator. Take the diamonds. They are yours. I don't want your diamonds. I want this. That? That is nothing. A souvenir. Where did you find it? A small village. Far inland. Three days from here. It's an incomplete translation. We can't be sure of exactly what's being said. But whatever it is, it sounds aggressive. I'm sorry, but none of this is making any sense. It's a verbalized recording of the Sumerian language. Now we're talking about the oldest language in human history, for whatever reason, recorded in your room. What was happening? What was being done to me? What is unsettling is that, um, whatever it is, the vocals, they don't sound, um, ordinary. Human. Now, I've studied the Sumerian civilization for most of my career, and what I have found is um, intriguing. I trusted you. How could you do this to me? The FBI told me who you really are. And you believed them? They showed me proof! They showed you lies created by my enemies. You don't know me, and you don't know my country. I brought peace to Sangala. It's just, when I heard what you had done, it was like you had given a dagger through my heart. I'm a forgiving man, Marika. I still want you to come with me. I want to give you the life that I promised. I can't go with you? I don't know who you are! You do. You do. If you look past your fear, you will see that I am still the man that you fell in love with. I won't live without you, Marika. Hey, oh, my old friend. Tutsi prostitutes are witches. So, what can I do for you? I need supplies, George. Anytime. Paul. Everything is done with the price now. You understand that? Yes, I need rice, beans, powdered milk, beer, and uh, your best whiskey. Beer, yes, but uh, whiskey, no. You have no whiskey? No whiskey, no spirits. Your uh, rich guests will have to do without their scotch. Anyway, Paul, I have bled that cow enough now. What are you saying, George? Your rich uh, cockroaches at the hotel, their money is no good to them anymore. Soon, all the Tutsis will be dead. You do not honestly believe that you can kill them all. And why not? We are halfway there already. But you can't give me an ultimatum. Look, you can't give me an ultimatum at a moment like... Problem, sir. Yeah, she gave me an ultimatum. It's one more than that lot in there have managed. <laughs> oh, yeah? Where's Father Yemi? Who wants to know? Perhaps you did not hear me. I said, Where is Father Yemi? The shipment is late. I just got off the telephone. What shipment? We should explain our arrangement to your new priest. We received shipments of vaccines from the Red Cross. 
You're allowed to keep 20%. The rest we give to Emeka and his men. In exchange for protection. So you see, father, everybody is happy, huh? Everybody is happy. Everybody benefits. So, I hope you will continue to honor our arrangements. I'm not afraid of you. I'll be back for the vaccine on Friday, Father. You don't want more lives on your conscience. I won't kill you. No. If you don't give me an address, I'm going to keep you alive so I can do our things to you. Please let me go. little pills designed to bring such pleasure but in your twisted hands <laughs> such an inventive use for them i have my own methods my own tools but yours <laughs> very impressive <laughs> not bad for a white boy Now that the ritual of silence is over, there's something I want to say to you. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? <laughs> Just like me, they long to be. No, it's been done. Um, come in.